All right, so I'm going to start up another game here. Just cleared free-for-all deity without building a unit. Domination victory. Very nice. I believe that's first time on video, so pretty significant. <laughs> yes. I'm not depriving you of sleep if you're on the West Coast. It's not my fault. And if you can't operate on four hours of sleep, you know, that's not my fault. How do you think I feel? I live on the East Coast, and I have three kids, so I don't know what your excuse is. Alright, gonna edit this. Gonna go for Aztec Tech Victory World Record Attempt. I'm gonna call it World Record Attempt because... Because there are no records, and I am the records, and no one else is trying to make records, so I am the world record as far as I'm concerned. I actually did search around YouTube, but uh, didn't find anything that was much better. The only ones that are better are like Games of the Week. But uh, Games of the Week don't count, and I wouldn't even count any scenario like the one that I just played because you already know where everything is. So it's not really fair. <laughs> yeah, I am the only person that plays this game. I am single-handedly marshalling this uh, community, the, commu the presence onto Twitch. So let's do single player, new game. And we're going to go with Aztecs. We have, obviously, if you've played the game before, you know Aztecs are a powerhouse. <laughs> Worst thing about this game is probably selecting your leader. Look, like, Why is it this slow? It cannot possibly take that long to load an animation. Like, come on. So these guys start with the wealth of gold. Uh, units heal after combat, which is one of the best bonuses in the game. Temples produce science. Eh. Half cost roads. Eh. And 50% gold actually sets them up pretty well for... Uh, sets them up nicely for an economic victory. But we're going for a tech victory. So let's see what happens. All right, check this out. See the spreadsheet right here? Check this out. This is my magic spreadsheet right here. Whatever this thing says, that's the world record as far as I'm concerned. So, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Looks like I'm stuck in a corner down here. Oh, let's see. Oh, my goodness, there are a lot of mountains. Look at all these mountains. Yeah, I'm on Twitter. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Which way do I go? Two ways to go. What? That is terrible. Look at these guys. I got a river blocking me. That's awful. There are like no trees over here. Dude, I've never seen so many mountains. This is interesting.
Oof, this terrain is rough. Yeah, this terrain is nasty. Yeah, this might not work out too well. Think restart? Eh, maybe. Look at this nice spot, though. Look at this. Yeah, running is always pretty risky. This ain't going to be a world record attempt, that's for sure. This is way too many mountains. So, yeah, I think there's restart this one. I'd still win it, but it wouldn't be a very good time. So, we're looking for a decent start. It doesn't have to be an amazing start. So how does the stream quality look tonight? Is it clean? Is it clean? Is the audio clean? Is the video clean? That's really important to me. I spend a lot of time cleaning up audio and video in this basement. Too clean. Very nice. I could dirty it up a little bit. Good. MLG Pro clean. I like it. All kinds of clean. Man, did you see that? I did mind control on that. All right, this looks good. The only question is right or left? I think the answer is left. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Get a free militia guy. Pump this guy out. This game is really... Uh, it really varies depending on how your start goes. It can be a nightmare or it could be really nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'll plug some Doritos in Mountain Dew. If only I could get that sweet advertising bucks. That would be great. I'm not even an affiliate yet. I just started this channel like early May. So this is a brand new channel. For a long time I was doing development on browser games. And, uh, but I just, I was getting a lot more traction on my YouTube channel. So I was like, why don't I just focus on my YouTube channel? Um, but I was mainly doing the games for, uh, kind of like for my job because I'm a software engineer. So, it, you know, it made me better at my job and, uh, but then, you know, I just kind of feel like I got to a level where I was fine. Like I knew enough. Like I like doing more wasn't really going to get me anywhere. And like it's like pretty much impossible to sub make money on a browser game apparently. Unless you have some giant company backing you. So, here I am doing YouTube and Twitch. And this is a lot more fun anyway. So...
Oh, come on. That looked like a name tile to me. Man, this is a really nice peninsula. There we go. The best Civ Rev player? I don't know. Perhaps. Certainly not a bad Civ Rev player. Uh, is this a dead end? What's going on here? Uh, one was a kind of like a real-time single-player strategy game. I mean, a uh, RPG. It's called Nevergrind. And then I made another one that's like a real-time strategy game called Firmament Wars. It's kind of like Risk. Is this going to give me more technology? Let's find out. Nope. Gold. Oh, one artifact. Hmm. This is looking pretty interesting over here, honestly. I hope this is named. Oh, nope. This is a sexy peninsula, though. Look at this. Got a whale. Some dye. Trees. It's looking good. I can deal with this. Send these guys the other way. Looks like I am very far from everyone else, so. Oh! Found the Japanese. Oh! No, those are the Indians. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, they got a boat. I'm so jealous. Americans over here too. Keep pumping these guys out here. There's no reason not to. Okay, so this is a dead end. Keep pumping out these Jaguar Warriors. Uh, let's see here. Gotta go get that. Gone you never wants peace. There's just no placating that guy. Looks like it would be really really easy to seal off the Americans and the Indians and they're quite far so I would have a lot of room to expand so that's one thing I could do is just be happy with all of this land I have and just prime myself for expansion here I don't really I don't think there's a lot of artifacts to just to explore for. I get a little worried about not making enough military units early. Cuz I think I think this is just all me right here and then I can just wall these guys off. You know, they're kind of far. Um I mean horses might be able to get over there a little faster. But they're pretty far, especially considered I also walked in this direction. So they were really far if I didn't walk. <laughs> so. I 
I don't think... Just want one more warrior. I think that should cut it. Gotta take this guy out. Can't can't let him hang out here. It's going down. Man, this area is huge. I can get a lot of cities over here, just on this land. Uh, let's go over to... Do I need any of this? I don't think so. Wow, there's like nothing here, huh? What? That's not a name tile? One of those? Figured one of them would be. Naming the natural wonders, th th those are just, just gives you money. This guy's running for his life. Knows he's in trouble. This guy's a little too nosy. There's got to be a name tile around here somewhere. There's one. I don't think this warrior could possibly be any more annoying. It made me chase him all the way across this damn map. All the way back to my capital. Uh, let's see here. I hope I have enough to get to 100 gold. I'm gonna have to sell. Sell some techs. Oh, beautiful. This is awesome. What? You're still mad at me. So bitter, Gandhi. Come on. Just one guy. Just one unit. Hmm. Cattle, huh? That's not too bad. I just realized. It's not too bad. It's next to a river, too, so that's kind of interesting. You know, I think Gandhi could, I think the Indians could pull off that no unit vi victory too, because they also get fundamentalism for free. But they just have to wait for it. Oh, wow, spy. Nothing over here? You serious? Okay. 
Could I do something good with that spy? Uh, maybe the whale. That's good. Uh, is there anything? I might just check if there's something over here worth peeking at. Oh, nice. Forgot to check that forest tile. I don't know what the heck is down here. I'm just going to run this guy back to my capital. He doesn't really have anything to do. <laughs> Take Gandhi out. Nice whales and die down here. That's cool. Too bad this caravan is like 10 turns away from anything. Let's just have peace. That's everything's gonna be fine. Uh, wow, it's a lot of land. So turn fourteen, having a hard time. I have to sell Tex or something. Five gold. Why are you so poor? Man, you guys are poor. Your presence offends me. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. Just screwing around with you. <laughs> Block Gandhi up and drop a city next to him. Hey, he would not appreciate that, that's for sure. I gotta get some money. This caravan's gotta get moving. Yep, this is going to be a while until I get my 100 gold. I don't know how they have no money. You think that's the winning strategy? Just drop the city right on his, right on his hill? Oh, another whale. Guy's just chilling. Let's threaten this guy. No one wants to give me money. Twenty second delay. Wow. Yeah, I think it depends on your connection. Some people have less delay than others. Mm 
Um, yeah, I put I turned on that feature that makes it uh, really fast, basically. Almost no delay. This is, let it be peace, your presence offends me, your pre sometimes you can threaten these guys and get some money out of it, it's not working though. Just fed you a caravan. Let's see if I can threaten this guy. Oh, wouldn't let me do it. Trying to mess with this guy. It's not really working. That'll at least get me my long awaited settler. Washington is just sitting there. Kind of blows my mind. Really just trying to set up an expansion city. This would be fine to be right up, to be honest. It's on a hill too. America is OP. Many people think they're the strongest civilization in the game. Um, I think these guys expanded. Nothing I can really do right now to speed this up. Just kind of stuck with my eight tech per turn. See if America decides to do anything. I 
Oh, you push in the left stick, dirty cat. And then you can manage your workers. Not getting anything out of this guy. These guys aren't budging. Not really the greatest start here, but hopefully I can catch some breaks and we'll see what happens. I feel like the computer knows when I have a spy nearby and they never settle their great person or they just burn them up. I'm not sure about that, but I feel like I've never seen them build, uh, settle a great person when I have a spy right next to them. I just... It just seems like that they, they never come but if I ignore them and like pay no attention then it seems like they settle like a ton of them I bet you there's something built into the AI wouldn't surprise me crusher nader yes I did win a no unit domination victory. It was pretty tough. It was actually a pretty good game. Pretty good game. It was not easy. <laughs> the computer was super annoying. They were warping all over the map, taking my cities. Uh, if I was doing uh, single player, my favorite, I don't know. <laughs> I'd say it would be either Zulu or America. I think those two. Pretty powerful. China's, China's really good too. Kind of like using the Arabs too though. Fundamentalism early is so strong. Let's see. Guess they're just gonna hang out inside of there that whole time. <laughs> All right, we finally got Republic. Uh, pottery, literacy. Probably going literacy. The only question is, are the Chinese in the game? Looks like no.
That would be a pretty good spot. <laughs> Pottery, is that the secret? Ooh, not bad. I'm going to try to focus on gold here. Just so that I can fund all these settlers that I need to build. I don't really need money right now. I just need... I just need uh, money to ex expand. Uh, is this going to work? Americans building a boat. These guys are planting here. <laughs> yeah, the plant is gone, unfortunately. The plant is history. No more plants in the background. Now I have these plants in the background. Look at all these plants. We've got trees. Different kinds of plants, I suppose. <laughs> the plant's upstairs. I actually moved my desk downstairs. It's in a different room now. So since I decided to start pumping out content, and uh, I moved my moved my battle station from upstairs in the office downstairs to the basement so I can yell and scream without waking up my whole family. So I moved it down here. It's nice and quiet. The floor is carpeted. <coughs> that way you don't hear all kinds of echo and reverb and noise. Upstairs, I had to worry about waking up all my whole family. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on, settlers. Yeah. Starting to wonder if I even... Is it time to sell the spy? <coughs> Excuse me. That will be a city right there. <laughs> the MLG content. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> Trying to take over, man. So let's see what kind of tech victory we can get on a semi-dumpy start. I don't think I can get the record, but I'm definitely going to try. Like I said, the title here is World Record Attempt. What you really need is you need seven, seven cog, as they called it, the seven cities of gold. That's just like such a huge impact to what you're to expanding. I got it in the Roman game and I had a pretty good time in that game. But I don't know. I'm going to do the best with what I've got here. Play this hand as best as I can. Pump these cities out. See if we can get 50 cities. Oh, I don't know if the computer's going to be tricky here. Try to take my spy. Oh, damn it. <laughs> you 
Yeah, mega cities. That's that strategy died a long time ago. Damn, I have no trees here. Gotta pump these cities out as fast as you can. That's really the key. Once you get 50 cities, you're hard to beat. I have... The computer is playing so strangely in this. It's like... What are you guys doing? Pretty bizarre. So, back in the old days, mega city strategies were really popular. Uh, for example... The Romans were really a big one. They would build roads to like their capital, Rome, and they would just feed settlers into the mega city, and they would just keep settling the settlers into that city. So, um, in earlier patches, that was just a super, super effective strategy. But it, later on, they nerfed it. So now the multi-city strategy is what kicks butt. Uh, let's see here. Yes! Another city. Alright, you're going over here, buddy. You're going over here. And this guy is next. Unfortunately, he has no trees. That makes it a little bit harder. Yo. All right, gonna have to build settlers. Who would guess? Anyone want to give me a great person? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it's time to encroach on Indian territory over here. Push them in even further. I need all the land I can get. I need a lot of space. I need to start heading the other way though. What? Pottery? Code of laws? Are you crazy? There's no way. That's a terrible deal. Whoa! Suddenly Gandhi has four techs. Okay. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> well, pottery, huh? this guy farther down to help him expand uh, let's see here move this guy over so I can help him plant early It's always better to work these hammers first. It's worth a lot more than just working gold directly. So work trees if you can when you're trying to expand.
All right, let's continue expanding. 14 gold per turn. Uh oh. Hope he doesn't do a drop on me. It's over here. Nothing? No good resources? <laughs> oh yeah i should have done that that was a good pro tip right there should put it right here go away america <laughs> uh, um. Is there anywhere else to plant here? Maybe right here in the middle. That could be a production city. Take advantage of this construction. I planted right there. That'd be a pretty hot city. And that's what we're going to do. Hey, Industrial Meme. Thanks for that pro tip, man. Good thinking. I'd like to see my audience on the ball. Uh, gonna have to keep it there. It's the only way to actually block them. Getting some decent turn, some decent gold here. Sacrificing a little tech growth right now for the ridiculous leapfrog that I'm planning to do here. Eighteen gold per turn. Oh. Oh no. You know what that means. All right, we're up to 20 gold per turn here. Now I'm a little worried because these, oh, look at that, Colossus. I should go over there and destroy it. Hey, this guy's building, is that a Colossus? What is that, is that or no. What is, is that an Oracle or a Colossus? No, that's a Colossus. I don't know what this is. What is that? Yeah, 1200 would be a tall order. It may stand after tonight. Pyramid. Yeah, that does not look like a pyramid. 
Uh, 20 gold per turn. So I've got 20. What? Are, how many turns is that? 1,200 is turn what? Like turn 68? Yeah, that's like turn 68. So I have 28 <laughs> turns. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. We'll see what we can do. At the very least, we will establish the uh the Aztec's best time for tech victory. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how close we can get at least. Wait, 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 wait. Oh wow. Good job, guys. I don't know why it showed me planes. That didn't make any sense. Um, what would be the best position in here? Could put one here, but it would cram it a little bit. One there, one there, one there. One, two, three, four, five. I think this would be fine. It's ugly, but it'll work. Uh, the thing about that, even if I did get the settlers later, it would just be more expensive. So I don't know if that's really always a better thing to do Tex Coco. Um, I think these cities are. Good to go. All right, here's another settler. Which one's better? Hmm. There you go. Got two trees here, so that's good. Move this guy over so I can... I feel like it has taken forever to get my first great person. I don't know why. This pace, pace of this game just seems kind of on the slow side. Not entirely sure why that is. Maybe it's no artifacts, none of that fun stuff. So we're at 28 viewers. That's actually the most I've ever seen on this channel. So that's cool. Thanks for joining. Glad you guys could be here tonight. Uh, let's 
keep moving. Twenty. Yeah, I see twenty nine now. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. I mean, this channel started like May third or something. So I've been really happy with the amount of viewers it's been getting. I I don't know if it's just because nobody's really playing Civ, so like people are looking for Civ players, and I'm pretty much the only one, or not exactly sure why. Like I keep getting a ton of followers, and I can't tell if it's like is it from my YouTube channel or is it just like I don't know how I got almost a hundred followers in like a little like ten days. I mean that's like pretty good. I'm only streaming twice a week. I mean. Really, you should do like three. It was the plant. Could have been the plant. I won't. I don't doubt it. Let's take a peek at these cities. Did they? Man, they got a road set up. I hate when they set up a road. Oh man, they got the Colossus. Oh, David. David, what? what the hell am I going to do with David? They gave me King David. <laughs> now they want war. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for giving me this guy. Well, you know, just do the best that I can with him. I'll move him over to my production city. That is definitely my production city. It is surrounded by a ton of stuff. So, um, one, two, three, four. Let's put... A guy right here. Let's say you. <laughs> Elite catapults? <laughs> Sell King David for 15 gold coins. That's just not right, man. Doesn't seem right. Twenty six per turn. Holy cow. It's kind of interesting. At twenty six gold per turn, I can almost rush a unit, a uh, settler every turn. Pretty close, anyway. Damn. That's not good. I should have put him right there. Ugh. That's painful. Very painful. Should have put it there, there, and then there. Ouch. I done goofed. Catapults, yeah. Every time I try catapults, it just does not work out. Oh, 
You gotta get them on the boat, and then you gotta drive them halfway across the map, and then usually you gotta build at least one archer to support them. Maybe more. The one nice thing about catapults is that you don't have to heal them. They, they're like tanks in that regard. What are you doing, India? No trickery. Trickery. Well, no one wants to kill me yet. If you really wanted to break the tech record, you'd have to... I think you would almost have to get an early capital. Just seems like it's too helpful. But everyone was just way too far away. Maybe if I tried a horse rush? Possibly? All right, 34 gold per turn. <laughs> another bl another boat completely denied. Uh, how many cities do we have now? Um, let's check out the city report. See what we got here. 18 cities. It's not enough. Not enough. Who's on science? No science allowed. <laughs> they are a one bunch of pleb cities. Boat would be nice. <laughs> uh. Holy shoot. Man, the Americans jumped ahead because of that stupid Colossus. When the hell does the computer build a Colossus? That doesn't make any sense. Must have something to do with the way I blocked them in there. All right, 40 gold per turn. Let's get... Do you need one more settler? 
I'm block this guy. Get out of here, man. Stop driving around my cities, making me anxious. <laughs> All right, boys, it's time to flip them over. Turn these pleb cities into science. Let's see what happens. Hopefully something good. We're basically trying to turn a turd into... Polish this turd up a little bit. Is this really not... The hottest start, for sure. But we're trying to make something pretty good out of it. Hmm, trying to figure out what's going on over there. Got island here. Don't really want to go that way, because it looks like it's just following along uh, a bunch of coastline I already own, so I don't think that's going to help. Yeah, if you're going to use catapults, Arabs would definitely be a good candidate. Uh, let's see here. If I don't get literacy first, that could be a little bit... Oh, look what we got here. Oh, <laughs> that could be nice. That could help me with my pleb city problem. All these filthy peasants. These peasant cities. See, I told you, they plan a great person as soon as you run your spy away. Oops. All right, let's see. Can I build settlers? Nope. It's over here. It's a nice little island. I could definitely expand over there. Going to... It's more important to get this literacy bonus, though, because we're talking about one science per turn. Let's make sure that it's still there. I'm a little bit nervous about the Americans snatching that away from me at the last second. Still there. <laughs> so that's a really good thing. So he's getting a bunch of techs, some other techs. I don't know what techs he's getting, but he's got a lot. All right, one science in each city. That's going to help a lot. Now, due to the fact that I have so many cities. Oh, looks like Egypt's in the game or the Americans picked this up. No irrigation bonus for me. Uh, if I go get currency, though, that will help me expand a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's get this guy on the boat. And let's go steal this guy. Let's go steal. Oh no. Oh no. Is he going to flip my city? Look at that. He pushed me away. I don't care, man. Ugh! Americans are getting tricky. Hmm. Okay. They don't have enough to mess with me right now. Let's look at our city report. Make sure everything's looking squared away. 
19 cities, everything's on. Wait, who's building settlers? You? Who else? Stop building settlers, buddy. Do something else. And what are the Indians doing? No great people either. All right. Damn. Damn. <sighs> Shit. I'm doomed now, buddy. Oh! <laughs> These guys are coming for blood now. I don't believe them. That sucked. Gonna have to pump out some units now. I'm gonna have to use this currency money for... I'm surprised they accepted peace, honestly, because they really could press an advantage here. Market built in Tlata Tlalco. What kind of name is that? Um... Where to go now? Monarchy would be great. Give me a great person. Banking would be good too, though. Banking or... I'm kind of thinking banking. I need some military units since I uh, lost out there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rush a legion. I'm gonna have to rush something. Rush an archer here to save that city just in case they get froggy. And I will. I'm gonna need something. Possibly just another archer right here might be good enough. Let me find, I think this is my gold city. So might as well change that over. And I did get a camel. So that's nice. Too bad he's like 500 miles away from anything. But okay. to make sure that these guys don't ruin my day here. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of here, boat. want this guy out of my life right now. I 
Let me start storing up hammers here just in case I need some emergency units. I'm going to build a wall. Build it tall. Building a wall, boys. Walling them off. Oh, they're in democracy. Yeah, I gotta swap over too. Are they seriously gonna block that tile too? <laughs> Seems there's always at least one dedicated troll in every chat. Besides, man, you don't know. I could I could totally launch a spaceship within like the next ten turns. Alright. The good news is I'm gonna be able to steal this great person, which is making me pretty happy. That's gonna be a huge impact. So that's very good. And the Indians accepted peace, so that's even better. That's going to give me time to get my act together here. Hopefully they don't have a spy. We'll find out. Ooh. Oh, I beat her. Yes. I got lucky. Alright, of course when you do that, you got to redo all of your tiles. Go through and fix all these tiles, and should be sitting pretty at that point. Yeah, it's a nice city. City management, city, city management. Alright, now we're up to 85, banking a turn. That's a little better. That's looking a little better. I think I'm gonna have to send some archers over here. I don't think these little warriors, these little dinky warriors are gonna cut it for much longer. These would buy me a lot more time. And about to get banking, so that should help get some units out there. All right. Definitely need democracy. Democracy now. Hip 
What? 125 gold if I send it to Washington? Holy cow. Why so much? <laughs> Drive a galley into deep water. Oh, that's interesting. It's a nice little island right here. Set up two more cities. On my way to democracy. Nice thing about uh, great leaders is you can end up... You can actually build a barracks inside a city with a great leader. And then you'll start with elite units, similar to how the Germans do that. So I'm not sure how many know that. But basically, a, a, a leader means plus three experience, and then the barracks is another plus three. So that's how they start elite. All right. I don't, nobody's going to declare war on me since one guy's democracy and the other guy. No, actually, I don't want that quite yet. So maybe worth to pump out a barracks. Looking forward to the future here. You never know what's down the line. Wow, 125 gold. Yeah, it does change, but I'm really shocked to see that much. I, I, I mean, we're still in... What, the industrial era? Yeah, I mean, we're at 15 techs. So we're getting 125. That's pretty good. All right, here. It's not clear to me what the fastest way to get through that expansion phase if prioritizing gold and hammers works better than just expanding using science overflow plus hammers. I mean, it must be, f I don't know. Not exactly sure how that works out. It felt slow to me. But I don't know if that's just because my start was kind of off or... I don't know what it was. Sometimes it's hard to tell. But I would think the gold and hammer prioritization would be better. Since that keeps you pumping out things faster. So that's what I would think. All right, we should be clearing technologies pretty quickly from this point. Cannot get monarchy first. So that's a big bummer. Or engineering. Goodness. Can get navigation, though. So we'll try getting that. Uh, invention will actually mess up their Colossus bonus, so that would obsolete it. So maybe that's actually worthwhile. I think that's their only city. So maybe we'll just do that. Yeah, I have a video on YouTube with a Greek where I get a 1200 AD tech victory so that's the world record as far as I'm concerned 
only because I'm not aware of any video that does it better. So until I see one that does it better and it's free for all deity and not a scenario, that's the world record. Uh, boy, this boat, this boat has nowhere to go. So even though I'm in democracy here, I'm going to continue expanding since I don't really have a reason to stop. So we'll keep going. Getting engineering in one turn, so that's really cool. Uh, we've got our borders sealed off pretty well. And I don't really see anything to worry about at this point and in fact I would I would think from this point moving forward now that I have democracy and I'm about to get invention I think we'll be sitting pretty nice that's gonna obsolete the Colossus and then I don't know what they think they're gonna do from that point I don't think they have any more cities, so I think they're doomed. Uh, uh oh, here we go again. It'd be nice if I could get something to deal with this stupid culture push. This is messing me up. But he's democracy, so I guess I don't really have to worry right now. Hopefully I can get the great person. At least I got this great person. Obsolete the Colossus of Rhodes, that's great. Let's make sure navigation is still available. Yep. So maybe I can go get Atlantis. Damn, this guy's got university. He's not messing around. Uh... When I do tech victories, I usually just build a library and then uh, go for whatever I need from there. We'll see how this works out. Kind of hoping for a great scientist or a great builder. <clears throat> builder would probably be best. That way I could get East India Company. So we've got a galleon. And... We have access to a lot of text now. Question is, what would be the best thing right now? <laughs> yes, that is what that is what Alexander does. Looks like steam power next. All right. So it looks like we're going to get corporation out of this. That's a good one. It's a lot of free beakers. How many free beakers is that? 1240. Corporation is definitely one of the best bonuses in the game. Plus five gold in every city. So I'm going to be rolling in gold right now. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> there we go. Wasn't really planning that, but okay. Gunpowder. Yeah, I don't think we're getting there. Anyone else want to feed me a great person? No? Look how stupid this game is. Maybe I should... No, well, maybe it's my fault. I guess I should have rushed this barracks so that I get some uh, elite units here. Pretty stupid. One of them to be elites. Oh well. Too late now. Lesson learned. Build the barracks. That way it'll move it over there. I, I thought maybe it would know the great leader was there, so it would be better to put him there, but actually I guess it's just the AI doesn't know that. I should build a market. All right, great person. That's good. Uh, let's see here. Harbor, a walls, library, market. None of this stuff's really going to help me. So I'm just going to bank these hammers for now. I'm going to have this guy. This guy. What? Oh. Are you serious? You can go from boat to boat. Check this out. Boat hopping. Free defensive unit. Send this guy over here. Send him off to... Send him through the ocean. See where he can... Maybe find a better island to plant on. This guy is just way too slow. Taking bets on the next great person. What do you what do you think it's gonna be? <laughs> uh, too late. It's a scientist. Man, this ocean is huge. Uh, gonna save him. Gonna save him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I wanted to rush a market. Uh-oh. I might have to rush a... Oh, granaries. That's good. Yuck. God, that's so gross. What? Are you serious? How much is a wall? 800... <laughs> I'm not rushing a wall. Crazy. Ugh. This city is not even worth saving, man. How, aren't they in democracy? How do they have so much culture? I guess just their city's enormous. And my cities are so rinky-dink. Market, library... It's too bad. It's a nice city. I'm not going to give him anything, though. I 
Nice. Got us a veteran cruiser to support our units here. Damn. There's a huge ocean here in the center. Uh, we're going to have to change back. I think industrialization is the right move here. Railroad's nice too, but gold's really what's going to get us somewhere. Uh, let's make sure that our gold city, well, they have a market. That should be good enough. I don't even have the engineering bonus, which is pretty unusual. You usually get that. But I did not get the engineering bonus this game. What is going on in the city? You guys are democracy. Whoa, I am smoking them now. 27 to 18, holy cow. Now, I'm actually going to go with Railroad first, just because it's easier. That will help me build libraries. <laughs> nice. Not even using the whales. Way to go. Way to go, Joe. Pay attention. All right, using that one. Is that worth it? May as well. Whale check, whale check. Any whales? Oh, nice. The city seems to be fine now. Another neglected whale. Uh, whoa. Should definitely build them here. These are nice cities. Very nice. Nice. That'll move me along. Uh, this is another nice one, but... I had neglected the whale for a while. It'll grow fast though. It's worth it. Well, at least that city's not in danger anymore. I don't know what happened to their culture, but something changed. Hmm. It's over here. Nice. All right, going to finish up Railroad next turn. Oh, it's a galley. Uh, 
uh, definitely going with industrialization culture culture might help me a little bit so I don't have to deal with these issues my rinky dink culture It's a nice little island. Let's see if we can get space flight from these guys. Sometimes you can do that. Mass media. Mass media, go. Nope. Hey, you're right. I do have a great person. I know there's stuff like uh, advanced flight that I don't want to research manually. That'll take forever. So maybe that's what I should use it on. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to industrialization very important tech just as good as corporation what did you see that that was kind of like bs it wasn't even danger of being flipped, and then all of a sudden it flipped. Like, okay. Sign these all to make build uh, libraries. I think I'm done with my last new city after I settle this next one here. We'll see. We shall see. Is it worth setting to science at this point? You lose the production though. No, that's terrible. He drops it way down. What the heck is that doing? That's not a very good thing to do. Lots of cities, lots of cities. Got to manage all these and should be good to go. Now 
Maybe that will be useful. We'll shall see. Another nice city right here. Damn. There's still democracy. Somehow they're democracy and flipping cities. So that's pretty interesting. This guy take one of my archers. What a jerk. Oh, I have riflemen though. Leadership, nice. Uh, let's see. Anyone that can use a library here? Yeah, let's just wait a turn. What in the hell? Americans are kind of blowing my mind right now. They're pumping out all kinds of garbage in that one city. Um, I don't see any way to really get a East India Company at this point. So that's really screwing me over. All right, India finally wants to kill me. Have no fear. Got some cool units here. So we should be able to defend ourselves and maybe even fight back and take over. We'll see. Go on down here. All right. So we'll move this guy into the boat and get out of here. Going to get a lot of gold spillover on this turn. That's all right. Nice boat. Nice. Are they just going to pump those boats out? All right. Maybe I need to get some tanks. Don't really want to, though. Atomic theory. That would be nice. Maybe I should rush that one. Oh, they got atomic theory from their advanced technology. Going to need electricity. Tech takes so much beakers, man. It 
definitely is the longest victory for sure. All right, I got infiltration and march on this guy. Let's hold off for now. Well, I kind of need to take care of this right now. What I give him? <clears throat> give him march. Give him infiltration. A gremlin. Gremlin. Yeah, you're talking about that island city? Yeah. The whale will grow up pretty quick. Alright, let's see what's going on over here in the rest of the world. I don't even know if I want to know. Whoa! Uh. Yeah, what is the city doing? It's like crazy. Pretty funny, I think the computer is just going to stand around. I don't think they're going to actually attack my fortresses there. Wow, look at this guy. What's going on over here? Okay. And looks like the Indians are staying busy over here. It looks like that's the eastern reach of their empire. Nothing to steal, it looks like. Okay. Interesting. be really nice to get combustion to be honest I'm clearly not gonna get a world record that's too late for that but it would be nice to uh, take care of some of these guys with tanks look like Rome was over there too uh, let's see here What was that mi milestone? I totally missed it. Plus one, say what? Granaries? Oh boy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> triple elite triple elite tanks sounds good to me
Yeah, these tanks are going to have a field day. Actually, at this point, it may not be bad to just pump out a ton of tanks and just expand militarily. I certainly have the gold to do it. Let's make some perfect armies here. I'll be able to pump out one elite tank per... Oop, let's see what happens here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get him, boys. Get him, get him, get him. Killing him. Oh! Woo! Come on. You can do it. Yes. Archers are awesome. I love that they heal up. It makes Aztecs so hard <laughs> to attack. These guys are getting... Oh, oh, no. oh, yes. Take that. I love, love winning one-to-one -one boat battles. Feels good, man. Okay. Electricity? Really need electricity if you want a tech victory. I do believe. Prioritize production here. All right, how do we got? We got three tanks, I believe. Scout and Blitz. Infiltration and Blitz. We got a march. March. Perfect. So we got a blitzer. Move him over. And we got an infiltrator right here. Yeah, not man. Alright, good night, super slick Rick. Thanks for joining, man. I'm about to trash a ton of Indian units. <laughs> that dude's sword flew in the air. All I need now is a great general. I'm going to trash this dude. I'm going to clobber this dude's empire if he lets me do it. <laughs> oh, man. I trashed that guy. Well, hello there. No sense in uh, risking it here. Might as well just wait for my tank to do the real damage. Who else wants a library? Anyone else? 
Come and get your libraries, boys. So many cities don't deserve libraries, to be honest. These ones are better. Uh, two gold, yeah. That's a nice one. That'll help. Roads? Don't need no stinking roads. Oh, please give me a great general. I don't think it will, but you never know. Don't think you can get it that way. It has to be a tough fight. Actually, yeah, you got a point there. Road, roads would actually be pretty nice. Make life a little easier. Set these all to East India Company. Pretend uh, I'd be doing pretty nicely if I could have gotten that, but that just did not work out. So that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see here. This is an awesome city right here. I've not been babysitting it as much as it deserves. Doesn't help that this stupid boat is ruining my day. Get out of here, man. All right. Now I can fix them. There we go. It's a little better. Did I rush it? Yeah, I did rush it. Oh, man, you are going to get blown up. Boom! Goodbye. This guy thinks he's going to get King David. Oh, no! No. I thought I was so slick. Let's sit on your tree, dude. How do you feel about that? Whoa, look at all those guys. <laughs> Whoa, there's like, they're about to come down the, pit, the path. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this guy's going to make it. I should have been bringing these guys along with me. I'm in trouble now. How many cities do I have? Not enough. I never have enough cities. You need at least 50 if you want to play have a good game. Uh, let's see here. Well, least I can do is try to rush a defensive unit. Uh, try to block this off here. Move my choke point forward. Maybe one more tank army. Yeah, we got half cost roads. Might as well make use of it, yeah? Nice and cheap roads. Who knew? Oh, 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 oh. Can 
I get that? I can't even... Hmm. I wonder what they'll do. I'm not sure that they would try to capture in this scenario. Maybe? I think they might. It's worth a shot. We'll see what happens. Oh, please leave me alone. Oh, give me a general. No, actually, I can't get a general from that. It has to be even or worse. Could get an upgrade, though. Maybe. I just thought it would be funny to mess with them there. Can't believe they had to go and kill him. That's not necessary. That's not necessary. Come on, man. Holy cow, they got like a million units. You jerks. You jerks. I knew you were going to do that. Whoa! Cannons. Alright. Perhaps we can build something. Theory. Electronics. Wait. Did it? No one's gotten these yet. I'm kind of confused. It wasn't saying um, what the bonus was. Man, these are... Whew. Man, that is a lot of technology to get. Uh, holy cow. That is a ton of technology to have to continue building up all right electronics it is all right Yeah, I need flight. I need so much stuff. Let me see if I can get my... Uh, I don't have quite what I need yet. Uh, it's time to form these armies up. They're getting a little bit too annoying to manage. Form it up. Have the knight take out the garbage here. Get this guy out of my face. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Get up. We'll leave that be for now. We'll see. What's going on here? Overrun. I see overruns in your future, India. Nope. Boom. Boom. Get out of here. Boom, boom, boom. 
I love how the pikemen run around him in a circle. That's great. I think I can take this city. Just send some of those tanks over there. Damn. There we go. Holy cow, what is this all about? What the heck? What are you guys, oh. Are you serious? Damn, what are you guys doing over here? They got all kinds of crazy stuff going on over here. They put all their great people, oh, like, in non-capitals. Pretty strange. Hello there, I have found you. What is America doing? What are you doing? Seriously. Do we get any crazy ideas? Oh man, is this, is this guy gonna take my tank down? Yep. It's such a jerk. This guy's got like 10 million units. Yeah. They definitely try to be as annoying as possible in this scenario. I'm gonna have to take this one down. This thing is a major problem. <laughs> uh... There we go. Whoa! Better not. Don't even think about it. <laughs> what a load of trash. What was that? 18 to 45? That's pretty sweet. Yes, that was straight up BS. It happens though. That's a pretty severe difference. Pikeman versus tank. Holy crap. These guys went berserk. Alright, Blitz. I think I'm just going to go for Blitz and Infiltration here and just get this going. Wait, what'd I do? Blitz? Infiltration? Alright. Time to get spanked.
Alright, this here is a pretty good army. There we go. Needed that city. That was getting... The city is pretty epic right here. Beautiful. Not gonna mess with that guy. Never know. Um, what else is here? Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, who else wants a? Uh, anyone else want one? You? Damn. Why are you working so much? Who else? Who else? You? No tiles available. I can fix that. All right, that's a little better. That's another good one. We need to get our science rolling. And our bank. There we go. Uh, anyone else? City's pretty weak. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> you better not. Don't even think about it. Yay! Barracks and a trading post? All right. Damn. Americans are building all kinds of stuff. Man, get out of here. Talking smack to me. Go take care of these tanks. That should be a win. Putting up a hell of a fight. What if they kill this? Oh, there's no way. 60 to 22.5. Yeah, whenever I see the first unit die, like right away, it's a little. Sometimes it's worth just retreating. You never know what's going to happen in that. Usually, it's a higher percentage chance of just losing that battle, but you never really know. Um, 
Not sure about this, but okay. And these guys are kicking some butt. Yeah, I mean, it's a night army. Not ruining my day, but didn't want it to go that way for sure. Wow, that's a nice one. All right. <laughs> These guys built a wall? Holy cow. I am blown away by how determined these guys are. Holy cow. Infiltration march. Ugh, infiltration march. That's not good. I need one with blitz. <laughs> really make it worth it. So I'm going to have to park this guy right here. Yep, we need a blitzer. Man, not doing too badly, but I definitely wanted this to go faster. The Americans, it's almost like blocking them in made them worse because they built up their city and they just went crazy. Really need a great person is what I really need. Do we have a blitzer? Blitzer. All right. Now we got us a legit army here. Is it even possible? Can I take the city? All right, thank you. Dude, leave me alone. Gandhi, you're insane. The hell, Arabs? Dude, how do they have this much production? They got walls and... This blows my mind.
Damn, dude, it's like how many how many resources do these guys have? My goodness, man. Computer is just going crazy, crazy. Yeah, no kidding. I just took the city. Alright, we need another... I think we need another blitzing tank here. Got one. I believe that's what we need, right? Yep. I always double check, I swear I'd like lose my mind. Holy cow. Alright, India. Are you dead yet? Holy cow. Guy is insane. I haven't even met Rome yet. What is with all these walls? Holy cow. This is pretty crazy. I actually cannot declare war. Yeah, because I'm democracy, so. I'm sure they'll be declaring war any moment now. No, any moment now. Hello, let us have peace. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can steal that great artist because that's causing way too many problems. <laughs> Rome wasn't falling for that garbage. Well, um, temple? I don't know. Save the city, maybe? Whew, this is going to go into the 1700s. Definitely not a great run. Didn't feel like a bad run, though. It's just, uh, I think the real problem is I if you don't take out one of the AIs early, you're just going to pay for it the whole game. I feel like it's almost a requirement to get a good time. Pretty much got to take out one of the AIs. Since that did not happen... I just had a slower start. Mass production. Advanced flight.
I'm just gonna have to wait for someone to declare war on me. I think we're just fine for now. Uh, making a decent science per turn, but too many things did not go. I need, didn't get the East India Company, didn't get the Colossus, didn't get the Oxford, uh, the Oxford, so. Not going to get a record playing a game like that. Don't do it, man. The last thing you want to do... Last thing you want to do is declare war on me. I am completely prepared for that. Actually getting a ton of money per turn. Seems like I would have gotten, well, economic victories I think are easier to come by. So, um, I think world record for economics is going to be lower than for tech. There's just so much you have to get for tech. So, I don't think that should be too surprising. Walls, library, court... Yeah, if you can get advanced flight, that is a major, major plus. If you can get that from Oxford University. I feel like it's pretty much required. It's because advanced flight is so much technology. Okay. Looks like Rome is getting some ideas. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, probably going to have to attack them in a moment here. Got advanced flight. And I don't know why Romans would want to attack me with advanced flight. But they can give it a shot. They're welcome to try. Gonna have to get mass production. And... What else? Nuclear power? Can I get any great people? It would be really... Oh! Oh! Look what I found. Are they going to let me steal that guy? I got two of them. I can access this guy. So I don't know. We'll see if we can steal him. There's a shot. There's a shot. And I'll build a few tanks just to be sure I'm ready. Just in case they get some ideas. I don't know if I've ever seen a game where four of the players were a democracy. That's pretty, pretty unusual. Um, what is next? Thinking nuclear power. I 
Yeah, there's no way I would give him that. Well, at least we got a great person. Start building this up here. Wish me luck. Oh. What a pain. It's like, do I have to get a spy ring? Give me a break, man. Guess so. Spiring it is. Wow. Are you serious? The Romans are how far along? Let me see. Did that say five away? Whoa. Whoa. 15 out of 20. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. All right, here goes a spy ring. Here goes nothing. All right, there we go. I have to save this guy. Where'd he go? <clears throat> Man, get in there. Nobody got East India Company, huh? It's really too late for it to do anything for me. So, yeah. Just going to store up all this production and use it to build my little spaceships. Feudalism? Are you serious? Damn, Rome went bananas on culture. That's not going to help you. Come on, man. Oh, I'm going to have to redo all my cities. Oh. They really should have done something about this in this game. Set all to wonder. I don't know. This is a very negative part of this game. I will complain about it every time I have to do this. I don't even think it should prompt you at all. You should just, they should just bank automatically and then they build nothing if you don't set them to something. And then if you finally set it to something, then it should pump it out and apply the hammers that it has retro, you know, that it was gaining that whole time. But no, I have to do this on every city. Come on, Sid Meier. Thought you were like a game design genius. This game's cool and all, but this was not a cool part of this game.
How many cities do I have? It's a lot. Very tedious. Alright, space flight. Gonna finish that, obviously. Time to start launching stuff. Build one of those, build one of these. Oh, hey, Karuma. What's going on, man? I'm trying to remember how to do a tech victory. <laughs> I th I'm trying. I used to have this magic formula. Isn't it like four fuel, two propulsion, one life, one habitation, something like that? I can't remember now. Does anyone have it memorized? I don't know. I'll just keep launching all kinds of stuff. Production will increase. Okay. This is just let you keep building them and building them. Like there's no feedback. Is it 4211? Is that what it is? Yeah, but if you build more of certain ones, it actually makes it fly there faster. Like if you get the propulsion, it flies to its destination faster. I don't know if you can just keep going. I don't know. I, I can't remember now. I haven't done a tech victory in a little while. It's always the longest one, so usually skip it and of course i'm sure someone is going to want to declare war on me at this point steel sure Whoa, I'm in outer space. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Trying to remember how this stupid thing works. Let's see. Oh, there's our propulsion. Our propulsion. Whoa. Sick. Travel time, 10 years. Life support. <laughs> Alright, we got life support now. What else? Whoa, dude. Look at those sick graphics. Whoa. 
two propulsion modules. Now we're down to 20 years. What next? Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah. Another fuel pod. Amazing. What's this thing? Another fuel pod? I just kept launching them. <laughs> Got a final tomorrow. Man, you don't need finals. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. You know, I think you can actually launch two. I think you can launch two habitation. Is that everything? Travel time. If I skip this, how do you get back to it? I don't know. Let's find out. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm not launching it. There's more. There's more crap. Oh, see? I would have missed my propulsion. It's, oh, I dropped it to 40 years. Is there more propulsion? Do I have more? What else? Yeah, I, th I think so. I remember that. 30 years. You see that? Propulsion brought it down. Any more? Yep, there's some more garbage. This is one ugly spaceship. <laughs> I don't know what the fuel pods do. Propulsion's obvious. That's colonists at arrival. Okay. 11,000 out of 10,000. I don't think they understand. That doesn't make any sense. All right. What? No, that's not what I did. Man, tech victory takes forever. That 1200 times is actually pretty darn good, I think. That's going to be that's not going to be easy to beat. But at the at the bare minimum, I can go along and and fill in my spreadsheet and update the best times that I do get. And then uh hopefully that inspires other players out there to try to beat those times. We'll see what happens. Maybe it'll be just me. But I know there's a lot of good players on the 2K forums and other places, so we'll see. <clears throat> Dude, get out of here. I'm not giving you anything. What about the Apollo program? What about it? Think I should build it? Discover all remaining technologies. That's a pretty good bonus.
I don't even... <laughs> Why do you want me to get the Apollo program? Space station report. What is this thing doing? It's going too slow. Let's go. Move it. Oh, did I not launch this thing? That was nice. I built a spaceship and forgot to launch it. There we go. I don't know what the point of the fuel pods is. Do I just need one fuel pod? I can't remember now. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen the AI pump out culture victories that fast. These guys are maniacs. Yay! I did it. 1840. I'm updating my spreadsheet right now. <laughs> 1840. Holy cow. No one's ever going to beat that. Eight. 1840 AD. Save. Well, we did it. Not the time we were looking for, but uh, technically, it's still a world record <laughs> for the for the Aztecs. <laughs> That's true. Sorry, Carlos. Sorry to let you down, man. Next time, totally nuking someone for no reason whatsoever. Uh, thanks for joining, guys. Um, it's getting pretty late here. 2 a.m., but that's all right. I think we got a little better at the game tonight. I remembered how to do a tech victory. For some reason, the game thinks I did a great job. Hardest Civ victory condition combo. Probably the Mongols tech victory. Starting on an island. <laughs> uh... Yeah, the computer was going pretty crazy. The Romans and the Indians were going crazy. What in the world? All right, so that's all that for uh, this episode. I will be streaming again Monday at 9 p.m. I do this on Mondays and on Thursdays. Final city count? I don't even think you can tell these you from here. That's the dumb thing. You should be able to access the city report from here. I'm thinking it was around 30 to 40, counting all the ones that I captured and everything. 30 to 40, I think. Um, yeah, we'll play on Monday. I was thinking about expanding to three, three nights. I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll see how it goes. But uh, for now... Uh, the next game will be on Monday, and I'll come up with something fun. Pretty good night. We got the no uh, build no units domination victory, so that was pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm pretty sure no one's really done that, especially on video. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, it'll be up uploaded on YouTube probably next week. So look forward to that. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Good night.